So hello guys, and welcome to another video. And I've been playing Endless Ocean Luminous for a little bit now, and I kind of wanted to give some of my thoughts on it, since this game has very mixed reviews. It has a 63 on Metacritic, which is generally lower than most Nintendo published games releasing, like around this time. And some of the scores are pretty high, like in the high 70s through 90s basically, and then some of them are also extremely low. Like, IGN gave it a 40, GameSpot gave it a 30. It's just kind of crazy, like, how, like, how big of a difference there is between these scores. And it's also funny, because the user scores are actually fairly high. Like, it, it's around, like, 70 to 80, which is, like, well, compared to, like, some of the scores, it's like, that's actually not too bad. But, yeah, this game seems to be pretty divisive. But, as someone who's played the game for a little bit now, I feel like that's partially because this game isn't for everyone. Like, it's a very slow-paced, casual-oriented game, and I can definitely see why some people wouldn't enjoy this. Like, especially because it's heavily focused on online and I could definitely see why some people have a problem with that like I do have a problem with that with some games like Nintendo Switch Sports the Mario Sports games and things like that but honestly from my experience I've been enjoying this game and I don't feel like the online has been a detriment to it too much and especially not a detriment as much as, like, the, the sports games were on the Switch. Honestly, I think online kind of enhances the game in a similar way to how Super Mario Bros. Wonder enhances online, except it's actually, like, you're actually interacting with other players and everything. Because I haven't played the other Endless Ocean games before, I'm also going to add. So this is kind of, this is kind of coming from the perspective of, like, just someone who's new to this series and everything. So, these are kind of my thoughts based more on how this actually is as a game, like, in its own right, kind of in a vacuum, rather than, like, an as an endless ocean game. But, from my experience, I think it's pretty fun. And you basically kind of go around, like, exploring the sea and everything. You get to kind of identify, like, tons of different fish and other like marine species and you could also find like different like treasures and different like hidden things and like explore like shipwrecks and like different things like that and other like structures that are underwater and different caves and things and i think it's pretty fun like i actually think it's pretty fun to go around and explore like the best comparison I can make to this is basically, it kind of feels like an open world Pokemon Snap. Because you're kind of identifying these species and kind of like getting a good like record of them. But you also have like this open area that you can explore. So it's very interesting. It, it has, a, like, I'm and I'm sure the other Endless Ocean games also has have this feel to it. But it's a very interesting experimental style game like it, it definitely feels like a product of the 2000s i would say and it, it's especially makes sense since this this is a sequel to two games that released in the 2000s but yeah from my experience i i think it's pretty fun but i do have some criticisms in some areas this game doesn't exactly look the best i mean it doesn't look horrible. It's not like Pokemon Scarlet and Violet levels of bad. And some areas actually do look pretty good in this game. Like when you're like some of the lighting and some of the caves and the models actually look great. But it does kind of look a bit lackluster compared to some Switch games. It does like the frame rate is consistent and everything. I, th I think it is 30 FPS, but it, it, it is a consistent frame rate and everything. But it, it does look a bit lackluster. It's, it, it, I feel like it's serviceable. And it looks fine in everything for a Switch game. Like, it, it, it still looks 
decently good, I would say, like, across the board. But it does look a bit lackluster, I would say. And another thing is that the story is also a bit lackluster. And even though I haven't played any other Endless Ocean games, from what I've heard, like, the other games have pretty good stories and can also have, like, a hub world that you can actually go, like, out of the ocean and kind of, like, interact with, and this game doesn't have that. So, I kind of understand the criticism towards this game. And honestly, I feel like the best comparison that I could make to this game is Animal Crossing New Horizons. Because Animal Crossing New Horizons did remove some of the features that were on New Leaf, and I mean some were added back later, but even from launch, New Horizons was still a pretty fun experience and offered a lot of new features as well. So that game was still definitely very fun in its own right, and I feel like the same is the case for Endless Ocean Luminous. While it may be lacking some features, I still feel like it does offer a competent experience, and it still is pretty fun overall. Like, the, the online mode is definitely great, since you can, like, interact with the other players, and you have, like, a wide variety of, like, different, like, emotes and, like, customization options, which is pretty cool. And I definitely feel like this is a fun game to kind of, like, mess around with friends in. Like, you could kind of, like, you could do all these, like, like, like I mentioned, like, with emotes and everything, I think the emotes are pretty funny, but you can kind of, like, discover different things, you could find, like, different events that are going on, and it's a pretty fun experience overall. This game definitely isn't perfect, but I do think it is a fairly fun experience, I would say. If you, if you like a laid-back, casual game, I think this is definitely a pretty fun for that. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more, and make sure to check out my Discord server and Twitter if you want to. Goodbye.